I came up with the idea of the Lola uh, basically by starting to design another product. I worked for about a year, maybe 14 months on doing a, a multiple diaphragm ear piece set that I haven't quite put the finishing touches on. But what I found by developing this multiple diaphragm product is that the real secret sauce and the real tonality benefit of diaphragms is not in the low frequencies, but actually in the mid in the mid range frequencies. Uh, if you listen to any technology, balanced armature, headphones, dynamic speakers, they all have the same. They can all have the same frequency response, but the tonality or the tone and the depth that they give on off is totally different. So this is the actual enclosure. There's two 4.9 millimeter high output diaphragms in here, and uh, uh, the reason I made them opposed is because I wanted to get as much cone area as possible for the mid-range driver. So 5 millimeters, 4.9 millimeters, so 4.9 millimeters on its own wasn't quite enough. So I posed them, and what I also found is that if I control the volume of air in front of these speakers, I can, de I can basically um, get the mid-range to go out to basically 3K and do a natural bandpass roll-off. This is the first hybrid driver, hybrid earpiece that actually is in phase. So but the reason that, you know, by using the, the, the mid-range enclosure, the dome te uh, technology enclosure, I actually was able to put the diaphragms in exact time within a hundredth of a millisecond with the low balanced armatures and high balanced armatures. So you, that's why you see the, the basically flat uh, phase response that comes out of this. We've got the, the dual lows that are doing a tight sub bass bottom end, which is also a band pass um, that's doing from 20 to 200 hertz. And we're high passing the mid for the first time ever. I'm actually high passing these. So if you turn the bass off, you have nothing below 200 hertz. So basically, there's a there's a nice crossover at the from the low to the to the mid at 200 hertz. And then it's going out to 3k, and then from 3k out to 20k. Actually, past you can see it's 20k is all we can measure, but it's still going out there. Um, so I don't know how far it's going out because I can only measure to 20k, but it's at least 20k on a top end extension. What we come up with is the tonality and the depth of the mid-range is totally different than any other earpiece I've ever developed. You can hear snare drums, you can hear guitar, you can hear piano, anything in that 200 to 3k band sounds very natural and very analog. When I was designing this piece I was like wow this thing really sounds great with guitar so the first thing I did was I called up Slash and I sent it out to Slash and we did real-time R&D and now he's touring with the first set of Lola's. We went through about four different variations got it dialed in, but he was just amazed at how his guitar sounded like it was coming exactly through, it sounded just like it was coming out of the Marshall stack in these earpieces. Just to clarify, one of the main differences between this and any normal hybrid piece is that everyone else, including myself years ago, uses the diaphragm as a low frequency driver. Now, it's okay as a low frequency driver, but it is a little slow on the bottom end. And, you know, like I said, through working with this, I decided that the mid-range was actually the sweet spot of these diaphragms. And so instead of doing, you know, like I did years ago with, with uh, diaphragm low, balanced armature high, I decided to put a different spin on it. And I think we came out with a much, much better product because of, you know, using the hybrid technology with the armatures on the lows, the, the dynamics in the mids, and the armatures on the high. And also, this is all patent pending. So... Um, it's a very specific recipe to get this frequency response of this mid, these mid-range drivers. So the way that the capsule is designed, the volume of air in front of the speakers, uh, the actual diameter of the of the soundboard to create the low pass for the uh, for the roll off of 3K is all has to be spot on. Otherwise, it all falls apart. The true beauty of it is how it sounds. The mid-range uh, detail and depth and sound stages. Uh, I've never heard anything like it in an IEM.